Hello friends! Welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm Michelle and it's time to snuggle up and enjoy another story read aloud. I've got a really, really funny and fun story for you today. It is Potato Pants and Potato Pants was written by Lori Keller. I love this book and I'm sure you will too if you're not familiar with it. And if you are, you know this is a great story. Not only is it about potatoes who wear pants, but it's ultimately a story about forgiveness, misunderstandings, and uh, apologizing. So I know you'll really enjoy it. Sit back, relax, and read along with me. Here we go. Potato Pants by Lori Keller and published by Henry Holton Company. And look at this little potato over here. He's saying, yes, she created the book, but it was I, Tuberto, who created the pants. Well, all right, Tuberto, let's see what this story is all about. Potato is excited. That's why he's doing the robot. Do you know the robot dance? Robot, I am a robot. I call it the Pobot because I'm a potato. He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Vance's Fancy Pants Store is selling potato pants. Potato knows every tater in town will want a pair, so he's there early because, like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. Ooh, these potatoes are running to the store. Do you see one has taken a tater taxi? <laughs> There's one that came in a tuber uber, and some have ridden the spud bus. I want a stripy pair, just like the ones in the window, with stripy suspenders for added stripiness. What's this? Potato is upset. That's why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about that eggplant who just walked into Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's he doing here? Eggplants don't even wear pants. Yesterday was Eggplant Pants Day. Potato won't go into Lance Vance's fancy pants store now because of that eggplant. That eggplant is nothing but trouble! Yesterday, I was walking along, minding my own potatoey business, out of my way! Pow! When he ran by and pushed me right into a trash can. If he sees me in Lance Vance's fancy pants store, He'll push me again and ruin my brand new potato pants. Poor potato. It's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by in their new potato pants. Oh my gosh, they're all wearing their new potato pants. I love my new potato pants. We love ours too. Mine have polka dots and ruffles. Mine have big pockets. Mine are kind of scratchy. I may need some potato underpants. Potato is losing his patience, waiting for that eggplant to leave Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's taking him so long? And if yesterday was eggplant pants day, why is he here on potato pants day? Potato pants day, that's ridiculous. Potatoes don't even wear pants. It's not ridiculous. Ridiculous grocery store lady. Oh, the grocery store. They have potatoes. Maybe they've got potato pants too. What a clever potato. He figured out a way to avoid that eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, grocery store. Do you have any potato pants? Potato pants? Yeah, you know, pants that are made for Potatoes? Oh, we don't have potato pants. Well, maybe in your store you call them something more like spud slacks? Tater trousers? Yam chaps? Any of those ring a bell? Heck, I could probably squeeze myself into a pair of cucumber cords if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Sorry, sir. No clothing here. Just food. Potato is not giving up. He's sure there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Think, think, think. 
Don't panic. I still have time. Actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. Only one pair of potato pants left on the rack? What will Potato do now? Potato pants! Out of my way! Only one pair left! What a brave potato! He's not going to let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of potato pants on the rack. Rip bam! Potato pants! Where are they? I need potato pants! Yikes! Potato may be in for more trouble than he bargained for after that entrance. Oh no! Potato is too late! Where are they? Sorry! I got the last pair on the rack. Okay, okay. Potato, let's take a moment here. Come on, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. That's it. Think of the puffy clouds. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, forget it. This is exhausting. Let it out, potato. That eggplant ruined everything. It's his fault I didn't get potato pants. He has brand new perfect eggplant pants, but I'm totally pantsless. It's not fair. Actually, his eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore. You hit him with the door and they ripped all the way up the back. You can see for yourself, here he comes. Oh, Potato, it's been nice knowing you. I've been looking for you, Spud. Potato is scared. If he had potato boots, he'd be shaking in them. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. What, turn me into mashed potatoes? I'm here to apologize. I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. What? He's not turning me into mashed potatoes? Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. Forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He pushed me into a trash can. Oh, but I ripped his brand new eggplant pants. Ugh, I don't know what to do. So, will Potato forgive Eggplant or not? I forgive you, Eggplant, and I'm sorry for ruining your new Eggplant pants. Excuse me, we can fix your Eggplant pants and they'll be as good as new. And the sale is over, so you can have the Potato Pants on the mannequin in the window. Do you like those? Like them? I love them! Now that is one stripy potato. Potato's favorite thing about his new potato pants, besides their stripy stripiness, is that they also make great robot pants, pobot pants, eggbot pants. Meet the creator of Potato Pants, Tuberto. Tuberto was inspired to create potato pants after not being able to find pants that fit him properly. He's now busy designing a full line of potato fashions for both the active and the couch potato. The Potato Pants Collection. Look at all of those creative designs. They're amazing. The end. Wow, that was fantastic. I really loved potato pants and I hope you did too. My favorite part of the story, of course, is that potato and eggplant were able to communicate with each other. I know potato was really scared of eggplant because he thought eggplant was going to hurt him again. But once they had an opportunity to talk, eggplant apologized for bumping into him 
and tossing him into the trash can on accident. And Potato listened and was able to accept the apology and forgive Eggplant. And guess what? It looks like they're gonna be friends in the end, aren't they? They were doing a robot dance, weren't they, at the end? I just think it's a fantastic book. The characters are wonderful. The illustrations are super fun. I kind of want to go design a pair of pants for a potato right now. <laughs> Let me know what you thought about the book and the story. Please visit me at Storytime with Michelle Book Club on Facebook. The link is down below in the description. Also a link to purchase the book so you can have your very own copy because I'm sure everyone's going to want to read this book over and over again. And well, while you're in uh, the Storytime with Michelle book club page, let me know what you thought about the book and if you have a book that you would like me to read next time. Have a great day and happy reading to everybody. Bye-bye.